Hi everybody and welcome to a video in which we are looking at the numbers in between whole numbers. We're going to have a look at what happens when we break a whole number down into smaller parts. In other words, we're taking our first look at decimals. <laughs> So let's start with the bad news then. Not all numbers are whole numbers. So first of all, what do we mean by a whole number? Well, really, it's just any number. The number 3 is a whole number. 127 is a whole number. 84 is a whole number. But unfortunately, between these numbers, there are a whole set of other numbers. So if we have the number 4, and the number 5, in the middle here, there are a whole range of numbers and we need to understand how those work. So let's have a look at this number here. We have the 2, we have the 4, and in between them is a dot. When we're typing it, we use the full stop. And in fact, we call it a decimal point. So the decimal point has all the whole numbers on the left-hand side and all the decimal numbers on the right hand side and we actually use the word point when we are describing a number like this so this number here is 2.4 so the numbers after the decimal point to the right hand side here are smaller than one so this particular number means we have two and a bit and the number after the decimal point tells us how big that bit is. So if we were to compare this with 2.6, they are both two whole numbers. This has got 0.4, this has got 0.6, so this has a bigger bit on the end. The decimal number is larger, therefore it is a larger number. Let's have a look then at a set of decimal numbers. We will start with the number 2. And in fact, sometimes you might see it written 2.0. But if the decimal is not, that is just the same as 2. If we were to go a little bit bigger, we would have 2.1. So that is slightly larger than 2. And the numbers go up in the usual order. 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. We then get to 2.5. Now 2.5 is exactly halfway between 2 and 3, which is where we're heading. After 2.5 is 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, and the next number is 3. And again, you might see 3.0 but it is the same as 3 so here we have a whole set of decimal numbers going from the number 2 to the number 3 but then we can take it a little bit further let's have a look at these two numbers here we have 2.1 and we have 2.2 so they are both a little bit larger than 2 but in fact you can also write 2.2 one, one. Now in this case it's 2.1 with an even smaller number on the end. It's just above 2.1 and again you might see that written 2.10. It's the same thing. So the numbers can go 2.12, 2.13 and the same pattern as we saw before 2.15 is exactly halfway between 16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19 and 2.2 or 2.20. So as we go down this line, they are all in between 2.1 and 2.2, but each one gets a little bit bigger. Now let's have a look at where we see these numbers most commonly. Well, I reckon the most common situation where we handle decimals is when we are dealing with money. So, for instance, you might have a sum of money which is £5.25. 
So of course the 5 is the whole pounds and the 25 is the pence. So in this case, because the decimal point is after the 5, the 25 is the decimal. And of course we know that 5 pounds 26 is a little bit bigger than 5 pounds 25. It's 1 pence more. So another example, let's say we have 4 pounds with a 0 and a 5. So in this case, 4 whole pounds and 5 pence, 4.05. And another situation is when we are measuring things. For instance, if we measure something and we find that it is 3 metres and 25 centimetres long, we would write that as 3.25 metres. So the metres are effectively the same as the pounds in money and the centimetres are the same as the pence. So another example, if something was 4 metres and 20 centimetres, we would write that as 4.2 metres. You might see the naught on the end, but in measurement it doesn't need to be there. Let's have a quick summary then. If we see any number, let's use 85, that on its own is a whole number. But as soon as we see the full stop, the decimal point, we know now that after the point, these smaller numbers are the decimals. So 85.3 is between 85 and 86. And we also know that if we put another number on the end of there, it is an even smaller number. And that is between 85.3 and 85.4. I hope you found that useful. We are going to take things a little bit further in another video when we are looking at putting decimals in order. So if you want to find out more, please hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you.